What we will demonstrate in this video is how to begin a story in SAP Business Objects Cloud, formerly known as SAP Cloud for Analytics. SAP Business Objects Cloud, which I'll also refer to as SBOC, is a solution built natively on the HANA Cloud platform. These Cloud BI tools can help you blend data from different sources, create compelling data visualizations, run ad hoc reporting, and more. In this demonstration, we'll cover how easy it is and how even a novice user can get up and running very quickly. Let's say I'm a manager or a director for a company we'll call ABC Professional Services, and I want to create a visualization of my data for the CFO or upper management. This can easily be accomplished in SBOC by creating an analytic type model or even taking a flat file and importing it directly into a story. If the desire is to manipulate or further model the data once in a story, SBOC can accomplish this via use of a planning model where you can plan or model within the application. Use of a planning model gives the user all of the visualization capabilities of an analytic type model plus the ability to create new private versions of data, the ability to allocate, spread, distribute data, and plan data down to the daily level and then create consumer grade visualizations to present the results. So let's get started. As you can see here, I've logged into SBOC and I'm on the initial landing page. From here, we can go to the story page by clicking on the menu icon in the top left hand corner and selecting stories from the drop down menu. Within the story page, we have three separate options. We can view all stories existing in the Business Objects Cloud. We can look at my stories, those which are saved under my username and then shared with me those stories that have been shared by other users. From here, we will look at my stories. If we're going to create a new story, we would click the plus button over on the right toolbar. Then we are prompted to choose the type of story we want. A public story viewable by the public, a team story governed by security and only available to specific teams, or a private story, only viewable by the creator until ready to be made public once comfortable with the story. We'll click cancel here because we've previously created a public story for us to work with. So back on the My Stories page, we'll click into that previously created story. On the following page, we are asked how we would like to start our story. You can start by importing data, you can import from a CSV file any type of application that produces a CSV file, such as a HANA application, BPC application, QuickBooks, and so on. If we click on this option, you'll see we can then select to use existing data, import a file, or connect to Google Drive. Typically from here, we would choose to import a file. Returning back to the previous menu, you can choose to add Canvas, where you can create graphs, charts, and that type of presentation of your transaction data in the database. Clicking into this, you can then see your additional options. On the left-hand side, you can add data or use an existing data set. And then you can also select to add an object, such as chart, pin visualizations, table, image, pictogram, or text. Returning again back to the previous menu, you can alternatively choose to add a grid which is more reminiscent of an Excel web interface view of your data where you can view and manipulate your data in a planning model tailored to your needs. If we click into here, you will see the grid interface where we essentially start with a blank screen, so we'll need to bring in data from our model. To do that, we'll click the plus button in the toolbar to create a new grid from an existing model. In the pop-up window, you're prompted to select either existing model or create from template. We're going to choose existing model and then select our BPC revenue model from the drop-down menu since that's the story we want to tell. And then click OK. As you can see, this works rather quickly sitting on HANA Cloud. What we've done here is we've created an initial grid of our data sitting in a database. Looking at our builder, we see a table structure. In the rows, we have the account dimension. In the columns, we have the category dimension. So we have our initial grid and we have data in there. But say we want to add a little more detail because we need to examine this data at a more granular level. 
We're going to go ahead and add more detail into this particular grid structure. I'll go under Row and add in Customers. I want to see Revenue Account intersected by Customers. And then under Column, I'm going to add in Time. I want to be able to view this by specific time periods. You'll see initially the time period comes in as All, but I want to add in a filter to just look at the first three months of 2017. So I'll go under Filters, and from the drop-down menu, select Time Member. In the window that pops up, I can intersect by the first three months of 2017. And now you see I'm getting my data. The data that comes in here you'll see is revenue from services, revenue from consulting, total number of consulting billable hours for a given month, and then a consulting billable rate. The reason we don't see any data in these particular cells is because it's a per hour rate for a consultant. So in this case, it's not aggregating. Although when you look at a consultant individually, you'll see the rate for the consultant. So you see specific lines struck through here because we have set this particular data not to aggregate. This is a purposeful way of presenting the data in the way we have configured it. And that is our initial look at putting a story together in SAP Business Objects Cloud.